Hello, party people. This is J.R. Benton, a.k.a. 730, with another public service announcement. Today I'm going to do something I've never done before, and that's an angry review. Usually if it's not something I really fuck with, I'm not going to do a review for a period. But today we're going to do an angry review for the third episode of The Last of Us. The first episode and the second episode were okay. They had minor changes from the game to the film adaptation. That was cool. I accepted it. I knew eventually there were going to be bigger changes and changes that I wouldn't like because they started off on the first episode changing things like the main story and plot of the game. They were never looking for a car battery the whole time. They were trying to get their guns back. But anyway, we're on episode three now and nothing in this episode happened in the game. The whole storyline with Bill and Frank, they never showed any of that part in the game. And then if they would have showed it, it would have never happened like it happened on the TV show. Like, as a matter of fact, uh, Frank ends up leaving Bill and going off on his own. I guess he got bit or something because he ends up hanging himself. And they find a note and end up finding his body. And that's the part of the game where you're actually looking for a car battery to put inside the truck that Bill gives. Um you know, gives our heroes, but, <clears throat> yeah, it didn't happen like that at all, they showed this whole backstory that never happened in the game, um, yeah, if you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about, I'm not going to give any spoiler alerts, uh, you're just going to have to check that part out for yourself, this little romance between Bill and Frank, but, um, afterwards, he ends up, uh, well, spoiler alert, poisoning him with a glass of wine because he asked him to instead of him hanging himself. And then he ended up in a wheelchair. Like, both of them had AIDS or something. I don't know. Uh, none of that was ever implied in the game. Um, Bill was actually a character, and that was one of the funniest parts of the game when you got to deal and interact with him. And they had a whole section of the game that you play with this character, which is why I'm surprised they killed him off and... Like, didn't have him in the game at all, except for in, like, little flashback scenes. And nothing in this episode happened in the game at all. So it's like, now they're taking their liberties and doing what they want, making it into some woke bullshit. Because this whole uh, gay romance that's supposed to happen off camera is supposed to be hinted at during the game. Especially the part when Ellie shows Joe the gay magazine she found in Bill's uh, crib. You know what I mean? But he was still alive when they were writing off laughing about this magazine. If the game would have been made nowadays, it would have been hated on by the alphabet people and probably canceled or something. But because of this, this is green lit. And now I probably won't watch the rest of the series because I'll see what happens in episode four. And after that, I'll let you know. <laughs> this has been another public service announcement by J.R. Benton, a.k.a. 730. I do not like the third episode of The Last of Us. And I love this game. So for them to make me not like the episode, they had to really deviate from the original path. That's all I have to say. Thank you very much.